All right, what's going on guys? Try back again. Here to bring you another video. This one's going to be doing a video giving my thoughts on how little we have actually seen Rick Grimes so far in The Walking Dead Season 5. All right, so this was a viewer requested topic for you guys. Wanted to go ahead and give my thoughts on it. Then we'll get into the Q and A's probably tomorrow or the next day. Possibly do a death predictions for the mid season finale before episode six, which will be this uh, this Sunday. Consumed. So yeah, this was uh, this was one that I heard people talking about in the comments quite a bit, and uh, wanted to go ahead and weigh in on it because um, I think we're going to see more and more of this as the series goes through. Now, if you notice. Earlier on in the series, like every episode, we had Rick pretty much. As the series has gone on, we've gotten less and less Rick as we go, basically. Um, season 4 is a good example where the second half of Season 4, we had many episodes where he either was not in it at all or was not a focus. And some people bring up some points that uh, whenever you have Rick in an episode, it always ends up being a great episode. Uh, I don't think it's necessarily just because we have Andrew Lincoln as Rick there. He's, you know, the most noticeable character or the, or the, the main character, the most outstanding character for The Walking Dead. He's our number one, so to speak, in terms of characters. Um, but yeah, we've seen a lot of episodes, uh, season four and onward, that didn't feature, uh, you know, Rick. If you think of the Governor episodes in early season four, and then especially the second half after, after there was many episodes where we focused on the other groups as they were separated, and then Rick comes back in in the end uh, to lead them. So season five starts off, and at the beginning we had a lot of Rick. Uh, in the first three episodes, he's in every one, uh, very heavily focused in each one, and then we get into the fourth and fifth where where he's not in either. So that's two straight episodes without him. Starting to look a little bit, and probably uh, episode six will be the same. We'll be focusing on Daryl and Carol. If he's there, it'll probably just be very briefly at the end of the episode or something like that. So that's three episodes straight without Rick again. And not just him, you know, Carl, Michonne, and the others that are directly close uh, to him at whatever point in time when we're switching off to another group. So um, as you'll notice, seasons four, seasons five, longest episode seasons 16 episodes right uh even season three we had a little bit where he wasn't in it that was uh, 13 episodes right i believe so um so as we get up into the higher episodes it just makes sense that he's not always going to be there as a character he's not always going to be in every episode because uh and i talked a little bit about this in my review or, or one of my videos i forget exactly which one it, it came out in but um basically, which is that uh, when it comes to the episodes and they have certain budgets for each episode, uh, yes, The Walking Dead gets so many views they could probably uh, spend as much as they want within reason and still, you know, uh, still be fine. But they still do have kind of targets where they like to go at and they, they set budgets based on like previous season and that and what they feel like they can do and then be able to, you know, make a lot of profit. Every, you know, everybody does it, not just in um, you know, the entertainment industry with TV stations and that. But, you know, in the real world, too, you know, everybody sets budgets when, when it comes to business, right? So just to make sure that, uh, you know, they're going to make profit and everything like that. So I'm sure AMC does the exact same thing. And every time Andrew Lincoln is in an episode, they have to pay him, I believe it's ninety grand, $90,000 an episode. So over the course of a season, you can see why his net worth is in the uh, teens in terms of millions, right? Uh, and not just him, you know, Chandler Riggs, I'm sure he gets a lot too. Uh, Norman Reedus gets a lot too. You know, a lot of the, the main stay characters in the show are going to be getting paid very well at this point. They're going to be most of them, you know, they're, they're in many seasons, are millionaires just from what they've done in The Walking Dead, just as long as they don't blow it all, you know, that type of thing. Um, so what they do is, or at least this is my thoughts on what I think they're doing, is they have purposefully certain episodes where they leave him out. Even though they could put him in, they could do it, they have to pay him that set amount per time they put him in. So that's why we get episodes where he doesn't even show up for a quick scene at all. It's either all or nothing. He's either, you know, a main character in that episode or it's an episode where he doesn't get featured at all. Uh, rather than splitting them up and putting the scenes in certain, you know, certain ones and, and cutting it, uh, I believe that's why we get episodes that only focus on small groups and we don't cut between. For example, episode five was all Abraham's group. They only have to pay those people that are in that episode. And 
and episode six will be the same with Carol and Daryl. Episode four, Beth and the others at the hospital, Don and all the rest, same with them. Even though newer characters probably don't get paid very much because, you know, they're not mainstays or anything. But I think that's the reason behind why it happens. And if we're going to keep getting 16 episode seasons, I guarantee you we haven't seen the end of it and it's going to continue to happen. Now, as the series goes through, even in the comic book series, we see... As, you know, Rick and the group become more successful in the zombie apocalypse, they become bigger, they grow. They, you know, Rick kind of starts to take not a back seat in the story, but he starts to take more of like a background leadership type role. He's not out there fighting zombies himself. He's got other people to do that as he leads the community. And he kind of, you know, systematically as the series goes through, withdraws and withdraws a little bit more to the point where he's overseeing everything but he's not in the nitty-gritty against zombies and that so i think that's what we're going to see in the long run because if you're going to have a show that's going to go on 10 15 20 25 seasons however long amc is going to be able to keep this going for i think at least 15 seasons is reasonable at this point since we're already in season five at least 10 to 15 minimum um we're gonna have to have concentration on other characters you just can't do 42 minute episodes 16 a season with most of the concentration on like one small group of characters. It would get so stale and so boring that nobody would want to watch after a few seasons. It just it just wouldn't, you know, in a zombie apocalypse with this kind of style, you know, maybe other types of shows like comedies and stuff with that makes perfect sense you can do that. But with regards to this type of series, I, I don't see how we could focus on just a small group of a, of a few characters, maybe five or ten, and have that work all the way through 10 or 15 seasons. It just, just, it just doesn't work. It won't happen. So even though I do agree for the most part, uh, you know, all the best episodes have Rick in them, <laughs> pretty much. Uh, all of, like, your, you know, your, your top Walking Dead episodes, if, if you did, like, if you check my top five or top ten uh, favorite Walking Dead episode videos, uh, which I have in the channel. You can check them if you're, you're interested. Uh, up to you know recent, uh, I'll probably do another one after this half season is over because some of them obviously will end up in it. Uh, Rick is in probably every one, probably every single one he's in it. So let me know what you guys think about this. It kind of sucks, but it's the reality of the amount they're doing, uh, and also too, it gives us more of a kind of a worldwide perspective for the Walking Dead when we see different groups in different locations with different things happening to them it gives us more of a, i don't want to say a game of thrones westeros uh, feel but how you have different things happening it gives us more of like a spatial geographic you know uh, kind of uh, overview of the world versus just the particular character you know comparing rick grimes to the walking dead i don't necessarily think you guys have heard my opinions on this one before so i won't repeat myself but i don't think that rick grimes is the walking dead or the walking dead won't work without him. I've also done videos on that before too. So I wanted to weigh on this one since we're seeing it a lot in season five. I don't think it's the end of us seeing it. I think by the end of season five, there'll be probably at least four or five, six more episodes in the season. Maybe, maybe not six, but at least four or five in the second half or you know, going through where he's got almost no time or none at all. Um, that's why I think it happens. And uh, even though it's kind of unfortunate, we like to see him in every episode. It just, uh, you know, doesn't make sense for the uh, longevity of the show and for the amount of episodes uh, they do. So anyway, those are my thoughts on it. You know, it kind of sucks, but there's nothing really anybody can do about it. It's just the way the system works. It's just a, you know, kind of a byproduct of, of how they get paid per episode and, and also just the length of the series and what they're aiming for. You know, they're shooting for a long running show with even a companion spinoff series and all kinds of other good stuff. Uh, you know, we can't always have the story focused just on Rick. It's just, you know, early on, yeah, because we're not, you know, we haven't had that much time with him. But as we go through the seasons, it'll probably be less and less until when we get into teen seasons, uh, it's probably, you know, like more like half the time or less even. So let me know what you guys uh, think about uh, this topic and how much you like to see Rick in the show, what you think about episodes that don't focus him. I'm fine with them, but I, I do like to have episodes where we have a good number of survivors. You know, just having Beth in terms of our survivor group or just having, you know, Beth and Daryl or something in a whole episode. It, I think, you know, the episodes have kind of shown that when they do that, 
we don't get the best of The Walking Dead. When we don't get many characters, we don't get the best. So uh, as long as there's a lot of characters, like the Abraham Eugene episode, love the episode, uh, I'm happy with it. So let me know what you guys think about all this. And uh, if you like the video, please thumb it up below. Uh, if you have any other video suggestions for this week, please send them to me. Any questions for the Q&As, please send them to me, private message. And if you want to help support the channel, please share it. Please favorite it if you have a Facebook or Google+. Plus. If you want to share it on it, I would appreciate it. And I'll see you guys tomorrow for the next one. As always, it's Trev. I'm saying peace.